Well, it happened. The one thing I was hoping wouldn't happen. I hurt my back. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so pumped just about everybody who's, you know, watching the videos, uh, liking them, and subscribing to my channel. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, like I've said in all my videos, I'm doing this for you guys. I want to share my story. I want to share my future, what I'm going to be doing. Um, I want to share that with you guys. So again, thank you so much for everything. And I hope, you know, we can pump out some good videos and everybody really enjoys them. So to kind of give you some backstory as to how, you know, I kind of got to this point where I have a back injury. Probably 10 years ago, I got a sport bike. It was a Kawasaki Ninja. And it was a, you know, what they call a cross rocket, street bike, sport bike, what have you. You know, I was a big guy then too. I would say I was on the crisp of 320 pounds-ish, give or take, uh, probably higher. But even then, you know, I was continually bent over leaning on the, you know, uh, handlebars. So as a big guy, I could rest my stomach on the uh, gas tank, but sports bikes aren't meant for long rides. Bigger guys are going to be uncomfortable on them, but that was just really what I wanted, you know, a street bike. I, dr I drove that for two, three years. Um, this again was in my early 20s. And then finally got rid of that and got a Suzuki Jixxer um, 750. That was no better. I think the Ninja was a little bit longer. The Jixxer was obviously a shorter frame. Um, but again, the same issues. I took long rides on that. I did do some manual labor here and there. I worked for a couple plastic companies as well as I worked for not really a moving company, but I did the technical side with a moving company. So when a big corporation was moving buildings, you know, the moving company would physically move all of the equipment. Um, but I was there to unhook it before they moved it and hook it back up when they got it to the new facility, you know, switches, servers. Uh, PCs, phones, anything. So I was pervy to lifting some heavy weight um, just because I wanted to help the guys out. And so I figured I'll wow, just get in the action, make everything go a little bit quicker. Um, so I mean, that didn't help with my back issues. I can't say that I ever properly lifted with my legs and not my back. I always seen those signs and I'm like, yeah, right, whatever, that's for old people, really. I was literally getting ready for work one day sitting on the side of the bed, bent over, <clears throat> tied my shoe, and that was it. I don't know what happened, but from there on out, I was in excruciating pain for weeks, it felt like. Um, it took me a little bit to get in to see the doctor I have now, and he took some MRIs and some x-rays and found that I had two bulge discs um, which was causing me to also have sciatic pain in my left hip all the way down to my calf muscles sometimes. So that's kind of the backstory as to how it happened through no physical therapy or nothing that time, but just through medication and taking it easy and trying to lift things a little bit differently, I was able to get to a point where it was manageable at least. Um, never really thought I would ever be working out or lifting weights honestly kind of use that as an excuse never stopped riding motorcycles though so that kind of maybe where's where my chronic issues came in because I just kept riding fast forward to March of 2016 day one when I first started working out I knew I had back issues I just told myself that wasn't gonna be my excuse anymore so I made sure to watch hundreds of videos read tons of articles watch people in the gym and just you know if I honestly had questions of people you know I would just go up and ask them when I first began I started light um, I was actually doing whatever I could with a shit ton of cardio so weights weren't my big thing honestly um, I did do them just because hey, I thought they looked cool but my main focus was the cardio at the end you know the half an hour to 45 minutes but as Weights got heavier just as I progressed naturally. I followed uh, Jim Stepani's uh, app from bodybuilder.com 
And just as you know, you step up on those weights, I was starting to have some back pain daily, again, chronic. So I really started to pay attention to my form and I am hurt today because I lost form for about half a second. Um, I was on my very last rep of my very last set of deadlifts. I had just finished a personal record on the overhead press of mine, which was 150 pounds. I was a stat, I was pumped, dude. So pumped, I had been stuck on that for a week and a half. Just couldn't get the last two reps, and then finally, that day, just destroyed it. It was Sunday. So right after that, I immediately went over to the deadlifts. I uh, kind of rushed my warm up, and I just had a lot of just sense of pride. Just I just felt amazing, and I was like, "This is nothing. This is this is lightweight, man. 300 pounds. So it's not lightweight at all. It's more than I weigh." Last rep, coming down from the fourth rep, going into my fifth, I let the weight carry me down. I let it pull me down, which is a terrible mistake. You need to keep tight the entire time. So it goes down, it hits the ground, and then I'm on my starting movement to come back up. I had a lot of slack in every part of my body. You know, my shoulders were down, they weren't back and engaging my back muscles. My chest was kind of, I wouldn't say relaxed, but not up. And my legs could have been higher, more extended than I thought they were. And I just went to just jerk that weight up as fast as I could and instantly a pop and I was out, got lightheaded, went down, stayed down there on my knees, kneeled down. Two buddies were working with me and they know I have back issues and they were very concerned. After about, I don't know, five minutes of just sitting there trying to catch my breath, I was able to get up, I was able to walk around. Um, it felt like there was a catch in my back, so I was just terrified. But that half a second that I lost my form, that's all it takes, guys. I'm, I'm serious. It doesn't take any time at all for you to seriously hurt yourself. I feel so dumb having done that because I was so tedious on my form, my friend's forms, and I would sometimes, honestly, at the gym, if I seen somebody doing something wrong, especially in some kind of leg press or squat or anything like that, you know, I wasn't an asshole about it, but I went up and said, hey, you know, I have back injuries and I did a lot of research on this, you know, do you mind if I kind of maybe tell you how I do it? I wasn't a jerk about it. And you approach somebody that way, it's a lot more positive than if you go up like, oh, you're doing that wrong, here's how you do that. I'm fortunate enough that where I work, we have a wellness center. I was able to go see a doctor on very short notice and a physical therapist. They were able to tell me that basically from what they can see, feel, and hear when I was moving around that they don't believe there's any further damage based on what I told them I had done in the past. They did notice that on my left side was significantly tighter around that area, the L4 area. They were confident in telling me that it was probably just a pulled muscle. You know, your back can pop at any time. That was just a sigh of relief. It honestly was. I was just so sad, so worried that, like I said, the thing I fell in love with for the last 10 months was gone. So I just want to stress to you guys, practice form over weight. You know, it may not look super cool lifting just a bar when you're doing a deadlift, but practicing form and looking potentially in your mind ridiculous, that's better than ruining your body and life. I, like I said, I was, I was super scared. Felt as if I even kind of sunk into a depression this week. You know, I've worked so hard for 10 months to get to where I'm at. And now I was thinking, have I done all this for nothing? Have I finally hit that point where I was scared to death of and now I'm not gonna be able to do what I've came to love? It was rough guys, it really was. So again, practice form over weight, over pride, over everything. And for anybody who has an injury, and you are ready to change your life and not use that as an excuse, before you even start, you may want to seek a doctor out to tell you if it's even safe to do it. My doctor highly recommended that I lose a ton of weight, basically. He said, you know, this is something you're gonna live with for the rest of your life if you don't find a way now 
to correct that. And the only way you're going to be able to start is by losing a lot of weight. You know, he didn't name 100 pounds, but that was my goal. Why not shoot big if you're going to do it at all, you know? So by losing the weight, I felt I was halfway there with my, you know, healing my back. And then this happened, so. And that's kind of maybe a reason I haven't put a video out this week. I had a lot of content that I wanted to release, but honestly, I was just in a rough spot. I was a little bit worried, and I wanted to literally just focus on healing. So I would just sit down or lay down somewhere um, and just, you know, heal. And if you do ever hurt yourself, don't have so much pride that you don't go to the doctor. You think you can remedy it yourself. Again, I'm 32 years old. My body is nothing I take for granted anymore, obviously. I've done all this work. I'm keeping the weight off. I'm living a much healthier life. You need to seek a doctor out if you do hurt yourself. Don't jeopardize it, you know. You have the rest of your life that you'd have to deal with something like that if you injure or cripple yourself, honestly. You know, exercise and weightlifting is there to make you a stronger, better person, but it's also potentially a risk. You could hurt yourself real bad if you don't have the proper form. So again, guys, thank you so much for everybody watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. I'm working on some lighting issues here. I made a little ring light just to see how it goes and messing with some backlight and stuff. I don't think this is the final product I, I want to run with, but you know, I'm, I'm trying a couple different things to make these videos a little more appealing to everybody and so they're a lot easier to watch and easier to absorb some information. And remember, we're losing weight by lifting weight. Okay. 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 Okay.